Join me as I try to simplify my entire code base using a custom filter pipe in Angular with just one trick. Here we have a project that we used in the past for the uh, pipes that we created. So if you haven't watched any of these videos, you can just pause this one and go watch them first. And there will be a link on the screen. Or easily, you can just download the project from GitHub and continue watching this video. So link for that is going to be in the description of this video. So after downloading, just run the NGS. Let's just O to open in our default browser after running. And now we can see the application that we used in the past. So our goal today is to create a filter here that will filter uh, these, these posts here. But let's check something first. So does filtering is part of a broader range of tasks related to data manipulation, which can make up a significant portion of development time, particularly when dealing with large data sets, real-time updates, or complex applications. So the problem right now we have is that usually when we are filtering the data set, we're using a JavaScript filter method to filter the data and also manipulating the data inside. So the problem with that approach is that we have to create the filter again and again on different components. So the easy solution would be just to create a pipe that will do the filtering on a provided array of data or array of objects for us. So let's go to code and create our pipe for that. So let's solve that problem. So the first thing is here, I'm going in the shared folder and the pipes and I'm going to uh, generate a pipe here using uh, Angular schematics. But if you're not using that extension, you can just type the command that is going to be on the screen and name this filter pipe, actually filter pipe, filter. So I'm going here and filter array. That's going to be our name. Hit enter and now we can see our filter array pipe here. So this is the default filter, actually the default pipe generated by Angular CLI that you will get also. As and we can see here, we have a name app filter array. As I don't like the prefix, I'll just remove it. So filter array. And also we can see that this component is standalone or actually this pipe is standalone pipe. That means that it's not imported in any of our modules and we have to import it manually in a components that we are going to use this. So. Just let's start with the, the main part here. So we are using transform method here and we're getting the value that is actually going to be items for us. If you're getting for, from our array. So it's going to be an array of, let's say any for now. Okay, and now I'll just remove these and add our own also important properties here. So the another thing is here is search text property that is going to be a string. Otherwise, we will not know what to filter there. And also an optional uh, optional uh, parameter is going to be object key. That uh, will be a type of string or null. Depending on the usage. And also I'll provide it with a default value of null. And in the later on, uh, you'll see why are we using this as well. So this method is going to return or just going to return an uh, array of any. Of data actually that we got uh, here and we're gonna do something here first so before returning anything we'll do the following so we have to uh, we have to check if there is no items actually or search text here in these uh, properties so if there's not if, if that's the case we're just gonna return what we get here okay so to do that if items or search text Okay, search text, then return items. Okay, what are we actually doing here? As you can see, I'm using exclamation mark and saying that there, if there is no items or no search text, we're returning the items. If the items is for some reason or any, and it doesn't matter why, but if uh, the items provided here is null or undefined, and we attempt to, to call a method like a filter on it, then you will get just an error that says cannot read property filter of null. So we want to avoid that case here. And for these edge cases, we're just checking it and returning whatever we get there. So this is not uh, our, our problem here. We're just returning whatever we get and that's it with this pipe. So let's go then and filter the data actually. So the solution why I'm actually using the object key property here is I'm going to check if somebody provided object key actually for this array of data. 
that that would mean like if we have an object like this so we just have something okay we call it O, and we have a like object and it has like data or title or actually it would be like yeah a title something doesn't matter then if a user provides an uh, array and you're looping to the array and get the object object we want to get that object key and get get something from that object key actually or a title i i, I hope you, you get the point so i'll just uh, go back to the to the uh, app component here just to show the object and uh, you'll get a point from here so i, I have already created the, this posts object or array of objects we're going to use like title here so when we are looping through this we get the first item here that is object and from that object we are using that uh, object key for title to filter using these titles here so that, that's the reason why we're creating the object check here maybe the explanation from here in the subject wasn't clear okay and then we're going to return the following turn and items filter and now in the items we're getting one item and checking item from object key to lowercase to lowercase includes search text also to lowercase again so why are we doing this we're getting the fill items from here like items and sorry we're getting the items here and filtering the, this array of items and getting it for each item if it has a like object key for now like if uh, object key of that item to lowercase includes search term to lowercase we have to do it like lowercase both of them to be the same so if because it's case sensitive then we we just have to do it like this so this is the first case and else if this is not the case that we have uh, object key here, we're just going to uh, return items filter, items filter, and almost the same thing, item, oops, arrow, and say item, the lowercase. Okay, includes search text to lowercase okay and that's it also we, we could do some more simplifying here like to, to get this search text to lowercase for both of these cases and add it like a search text uh, here constant and whatever you want to do or prefer but for now it's enough like this so i'll just format the text okay and we can see the this filter array pipe array pipe sorry so this is it for this uh, filter array, array pipe now we have to go to implement this pipe. As you remember, as always, oh, we are not able to use the pipe before we import it because this is a standalone pipe. So a filter, array pipe, and then we are ready to use it in our component here. So I'm going to app component, and now we can see that we have like post of posts. And before doing that, uh, I added here just a note. I added the ng module here uh, for the search term. For the search term here, just let me find it. Okay, we have a search term that is just an empty string, and we are doing a QA binding to show the show that uh, search term actually here and use it for our filters here. So uh, when we are here, and what am I doing right now is just in this for loop, I'm just gonna filter these posts. So how to do that? So filter for, for post of posts, and then we're gonna add a pipe here, and say filter array. Okay, filter array. And we are using a search term here that is actually our search term here the same one and also i'm using an object key here that is going to be a title okay so that's the part that i uh, explained regarding the object keys here so if there is an array where we want just to show uh, everything inside like apples uh, or, or, or fruits without any uh, objects we will just go the, without the title here but if you have an object that has some object key we are using this so let's see this in action okay we have these posts here and now we're gonna search for something so 
Okay, as you can see, we are searching for top. We are searching for dev. We are searching for JavaScript. Oops. We don't have anything like that. But we're gonna just I don't know. Work. Okay, work. We have more results. Okay, workflow one. And that's it. This we can see that this actually works as expected. So uh, this is it when it comes to this filter uh, array pipe. And if you like the provided solution actually, or you have something better on your mind, please share your thoughts in the comment action comment section below the video. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe to get more web development related content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.